Hey guys, so this is a recreational catastrophe bringing you a video, and obviously if you clicked on it, you would know this is kind of how to, well, hopefully I'll be able to help fix your um, your new Call of Duty game. Um, this is for PC only, so um, just as a side note, um, this gameplay that is playing right now is, uh, I was trying to run it in the highest quality setting, so it's a little glitchy and a little laggy, and... I'm not, I'm not, I'm certainly not saying that I'm not awful, because I'm awful, and that's why I just keep dying, but, uh, it was a little glitchy and laggy, and some of the times, I mean, there's a part where I'm just spinning around in circles, and I'm trying to show you guys, uh, I guess, uh, how performance can, can change, so I'm running at, like, the highest quality settings, I'm sh trying to show you how com performance can slow down and make it a little laggy. And that's why you might want to lower the performance, or the lower the settings, just to make it run a little smoother. Um, so, um, yeah. So I, well, if you're like me, went out, got the new COD Ghosts, and and I was pretty amped to play it, kind of. Well, in a way, because um, I got Battlefield 4, and as much as I like the gameplay. Uh, I don't love the servers so much. So, um, and I play Counter-Strike, uh, you know, CSGO. And that was kind of, I mean, I know, I can't really get into it, but I was, uh, I got really into Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, but I hated Modern Warfare 3, and World of War is still great, but I haven't really got into this new one yet, and I was really disappointed when I got it, and I ex installed it. And I immediately went straight into multiplayer. So I went in and clicked uh, Ghost Multiplayer. And it just crashed. It didn't even start off. It just crashed immediately. So if you're having the same problem as me, well, uh, the just the normal COD Ghost, because the PC has two different versions, the normal one opened up just fine for some reason. <coughs> so... I went into that just to see if I could get gameplay in, and it just lowest quality ever I was playing at. I was playing at the lowest quality I possibly could, because the first time I went in, it crashed, and the second time I went in, and it automatically went into safe mode, which booted at pretty low settings, and I couldn't change the settings, because that would make it crash. And I had no idea what was going wrong. So, um, here's a couple things to help get your game less laggy. Or, I mean, just speed it up, and, um, yeah, alright. So, one thing you can do is, you may have, uh, you may have installed it incorrectly, so you might want to reinstall it, and this doesn't take as long as the normal install, so you just, um, you know, you just boot up the disk again, um, for, at least for me it didn't take as long, it wasn't too bad, but, um, if your game is super laggy, um, it should be pretty easy. So, okay, let's get to it. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you update your drivers. Now, here's I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how. I mean, I'm gonna I'm not doing it right now, but I'll show you how to find out if you don't know how to find out what uh, graphics card and video cards you have and. So basically what you're going to want to do is I'll leave a link in the description um, to the update sites, or the driver sites, and you're either going to have an AMD ca uh, graphics card or uh, a NVIDIA, so, well most likely. Um, so you're going to want to update those because that will definitely give you a performance boost, and that might just be the problem that you're running into. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do is, um, well, this, for some reason, seemed to work for me, because I've been having a lot of internet problems lately, for some reason, so I was, um, I was looking up things, trying to figure it out, so I did this today, and so I'm going to put in a video, and you had to turn off, or disable the McAfee network service agent, and for some reason... Uh, I tried it a couple hours after I did that, and Ghost Multiplayer loaded right up, which it never did before. 
so that was pretty crazy um let's see uh yeah so that might be it but i'm just saying you could try that and if it doesn't work then you can enable it again if you want it doesn't really change anything i don't know um next thing you're going to want to do is free up your ram and that will definitely give you a performance boost and basically what you're going to want to do is <sighs> Close down any of the programs that are running, unless you really have to have them. But um, obviously, I think if if you're running, if you're trying to play the game, you don't need the other programs running anyway. So um, go down to just close down any other programs that you don't need running, and that should help work. And uh, a lot of the processes that take up uh, RAM, and you're gonna want to close those down. Um, so there's another thing you can do and you just open up the start menu and you can click the windows update and just see it'll show you any updates you gotta get and i had like nine updates that i did today and those may have been the things that made it work but um get those updated and it, i know it's annoying but because you gotta restart and it might be but it, it might be your problem and it might it should boost your performance anyway, just the performance overall of your computer. Well, depending on what it's updating. But, um, so yeah, and then if all if you've tried all that and you can get in game, go into options and run the lowest quality, turn off anti aliasing and ambient occlusion, because those are just kind of fancy settings that don't really, I mean, I play them off and those aren't they don't really help you at all so like I, I don't know they're just I, I haven't really read into what they are honestly so I don't really know but you don't need them and they'll take up a lot of uh, it takes a lot of processing power to, to use those uh, especially anti-aliasing and I think it's something to do with shadows um so What's next? Oh, um, well, I couldn't, couldn't really get video of this for some reason, but, um, the Razer Game Booster is, uh, a software you can get from the company Razer, and they kind of make a lot of gaming products for, uh, like keyboards and mice and headsets, and they do a free program, it's called the Razer Game Booster. And unfortunately, I couldn't get footage of it for some reason. You can boost the process performance of some of the different processes. Um, it's got a, a whole... I'm looking through it right now. Um, you can diagnose any problems. You can tweak any... Pro, uh, you can tweak a bunch of programs. You can defrag your programs, and that might help definitely a lot. So I would check that out. Because um, I would defrag your game. I did that to my game. And... There's, it shows upgrades for drivers that you might need, and you can even use it in-game and it'll show your frames per second um, in the top right, left, or bottom left or right corners, and it's even got a screen capture, so I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure it's got to be some sort of good, I mean it's coming from a gaming company. Okay, so if you like the video, um, like, comment, and subscribe, um, comment on any problems and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can and see if I can help fix it for you because I, I mean I know that it really bothered me that I just got the game and it wasn't working for me so um, yeah just comment and I'll try and help you out as soon as I, as soon as possible so uh, yeah thanks for watching um, see ya Objective failed. Squad, regroup.